What is happening guys, welcome back to the channel, it is time for another video. So today we're going to check out the most popular anime openings of each year starting from 1975 till 2024. And with this video, with this video in mind, I went back to check out uh, when the very first anime came out and it came out in uh, let's see 1917 actually June 30th 1917 and it was titled the dull sword I'm gonna post a picture of what it looked like in 1917 but uh, with this with this picture in mind it was just it's just crazy to see how far anime has come from 1917 till 2024 where we have like some crazy studios some crazy anime some crazy animation as well and the stories are just getting better and better each season and each year as well so uh, yeah i'm interested to see uh you know what the popular anime opening was in 1975 i wasn't even born yet so i'm really excited for this video if you guys are as well make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with that being said let's dive on into this reaction Ufo Robo Yo, this, I'm not gonna lie, this anime look good. Lupin. You know what, you know what's funny? I think that these animes would still get a pass if they came out, like, some of these anime, I should say, uh, would still get a pass if they came out, uh, right now, in, like, in 2024, for example. Cause that last one looked really good. And the songs are the, the songs have like this raspiness to it. Gundam. Oh, this looks cool. I think if this anime, if, if an anime came out with this exact same animation, it would still look really good in this day and age. Space Cobra! The songs were good as well. Oh, these these retro style or oh my god. Oh man, this style is so cool. Yo, Gundam was uh, is a, was around for a while. I'm not gonna lie, the songs were way. I feel like the songs were way better back then. Excuse me, Sensei. Bubble gun crisis. Look at the oh that eighties hairstyle. City Hunter, not a really popular anime. This looks insane, man. Oh, Dragon Ball Z. Rest in peace, man. You know what's crazy? I've said this before and I'll say it again. I think Dragon Ball Z, um, I don't say I think, and I think it's proven as well, correct me if I'm wrong, um, that Dragon Ball Z has had like the biggest influence in a lot of other great anime that came out. 
I would say animes like uh, One Piece, for example, I think Naruto as well, and a lot of other animes, but I'm just talking about a popular anime that everybody uh, in general uh, know. And I think Dragon Ball Z has been a part of a lot of people's childhood without them actually knowing, because even I was watching Dragon Ball Z, but I didn't know it was an anime. I thought it was just a cartoon. So I would watch it when I was like six or seven. And... Um, Funny thing is, I also uh, enjoyed playing the video game. I think it was, um, what is it called again? I think Tenkanchi Budokai 3 or something like that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But I remember playing that with my friends. But I never, I won't, I won't, I'm not considering myself like a Dragon Ball Z fan. But it's just like a cartoon that we would watch every Saturday and Sunday morning as kids. But, you know, I never thought that it was like this huge of an anime and that it had this much of influence on a lot of people. And you could see it uh, when the creator of Dragon Ball Z died, how many people were like really uh, shocked by his passing. And it just showed um, how big of a legacy that guy just left behind. <laughs> Yo, these songs are way better than some of the songs that we're getting now. Bro, that hairstyle. Sailor Moon. I wonder what anime was popular in the year that I was born. Look at yo, these design these designs look insane. Oh, Neon Genesis. I use this song as my uh, opening and, and uh, my intro and outro song. And I'm going to watch this anime on my own just because of how, I don't know. I just, when I first heard this song, I was like, yep, that I just, that song is just always playing in my head. The design, the, the animation looks clean. Dragon Ball GT. Pokemon as well. I didn't know that Pokemon was, a, uh, was an anime, but I gotta say, I have never really sat down to watch an, an episode of Pokemon when I was younger and now as an adult as well. But I don't know, it just never, I, I never had a connection to this show. But it's also another show that a lot of people watched when they were younger. And some of them probably knew that it was an anime, but a lot of them also didn't know. Me included. And I was also, uh, a lot of people, I, I, I think uh, one of my friends corrected me about it. But um, as a kid, we all thought that this guy, I, I think his name is Link or whatever, I don't know. But everybody thought that this guy, his eyes were, were closed. So it was like a really ongoing jokes uh, uh, whenever this guy popped up on screen. Like, how is he seeing anything? Wait. Never, I, I don't think his name is Link. I don't know. I'm just bugging. I think it's Cowboy Bebop. Get everybody in the stuff together. I just, I just, this song is so... Oh, such a good song. And now in Overwatch, they have like a, a collaboration. One Piece came out in 1999. Inuyasha. Another really popular anime among a lot of people.
Helsing with Alucard and uh, what's his name, Father Anderson. There he is, Alucard. <laughs> Naruto, okay. Oh my god. Yo. Is Bleach the the anime with the most like seasons? I would not episodes because I think with episodes it should probably be One Piece. But I feel like Bleach has so many seasons. It's just Whenever you go to my anime list, you can see a lot of Bleach, uh, I would say, series on a lot of those uh, top spots. Oh, I love this song! I didn't know that it was uh, from Bleach, that song. Oh, I love this Code Geass opening. Oh. I love this song as well. Not an amazing song and an amazing anime as well. Angel Beats. Oh my god. So I started this show and I will be finishing this show as soon as I finish one of those other shows that I'm busy with right now. But this is an anime that uh, when I watched it, I felt like, um, how should I explain it? It felt really nostalgic, even though I had never watched it before. I don't know what it was with maybe the story or the, 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 the graphics or whatever, but it looked, I don't know. I had like a, a really good feeling watching this show and that's why I never, I don't want to rush it. I just want to take my time and really enjoy this show. Oh, sort of online, amazing show. Hey, I, I was about to say this if this song wasn't the most popular song the year that uh this episode came out, then Let me know down below how wh how do you guys feel about the uh the way Attack on Titan ended because I I'm not gonna lie I haven't watched Attack on I, I watched like half of season one but I've never finished this show and I will be finishing it probably on my own as well but I wanna know, I wanna know what you guys think of the 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 way the show ended because I've seen a lot of people talk about it on podcast without without spoiling anything of course but. They share their feelings and it was like a lot of mixed emotions about how the show ended and how they think the story went and stuff like that. Let me know down below what your thoughts were, uh, were or what your thought is uh, on the way the show ended. Tokyo Ghoul, I said it before I said it again. Season 1, fantastic and then I just left it. Never heard of this anime before. Erased, okay. 
Another show that I really want to watch. This song is so epic, man. Of course. Of course. Man, I fell in love with this show when it first came out. Of course. Wait! Please tell me there is something from uh, Finland Saga in here. Of course. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna kill it with this opening. I don't think we're getting a Finland saga. Of course, Chase of Man. Oh man. Can't wait for the movie though. Of course! I'm so stupid. I, I blame myself for this one. Of course, Oshinoko had to be there. Let me guess, JJK wins 2024? Or, uh, wait, 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 wait. I think it's either gonna be Jujutsu Kaisen in 2024 or it's gonna be um, solo leveling. Or, or, I'm sorry for pausing again, it's gonna be either um, Mash Marshall, Jujutsu Kaisen or uh, solo leveling. And I'm leaning towards Marshall right now. And I, it has to be Marshall. It had to be. It had to be. Oh my god, this opening goes hard. There you have it, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I had so much fun watching this video. So many great openings. And I had. I, I'm so stupid for forgetting that uh, Oshinoko had to be in there. But nevertheless, the last, uh, the, the last opening, it had to be that one. Like. Everywhere you go on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever social media platform, even on uh, Snapchat as well, you would see people using this song for either a dance or a meme or whatever. So it had to be in there. But I enjoyed all of these openings. There were really some really, really impressive ones in between, especially the older ones, like the ones in the 90s and uh, 80s as well and 70s. Like I said, I looked up and I, uh, it says that the first... Um, anime came out in 1917 which is insane uh and it's really cool to see how far anime openings and anime in general have come and we still got a long way to go so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and subscribe and with that being said as always i will catch you guys later for another video take care peace peace